Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Wait a second, didn't I make a video like this not too long ago? Oh yeah, it's because I was late in the month of June, wasn't it? Well, we're gonna be doing the same thing again for the month of July. Since it is now officially behind us, we shall recap all of the games that came out for that month in the year 2020, July. And we had quite a lot of them too, as you can no doubt tell by how long this video is so let us begin and of course let me know which of these games you've been playing down in the comment section below okay now we can begin gonna be going in the order of each game's release which is why you're seeing a title like this start off the show i never allow it otherwise crypto by pogi here's my one hand clap Okay, that's all the praise you're gonna be getting. Crypto by Pogi. Crack the code to reveal the quote in this classic cryptogram puzzle. Decrypt the ciphers to find 180 funny and inspirational messages. The only inspirational quote I can think of at this time is, No more Pogi games. The game is crossed by with the PlayStation 4 version, and is developed by Lightwood Games. Thus, if you prefer to do your crossword puzzles on a screen rather than on paper, and I don't know why you would, then, well, you got a lot of these games to choose from. Next! Just some words of wisdom here, if your pee is ever this green, you better go see a doctor. Oh, and by that I mean, uh, Awesome P2 is next. Awesome P2, the next chapter of the classic platform game. Greedy P is back in the game, now with even more dark dungeons, deadly traps, and gold. Because he's apparently greedy as well. What you definitely find in this game, again, and might I add that the description actually said the word again, pixel Game Boy style graphics when everything is green. 25 different levels, retro soundtrack, sounds like your old computer. Computer. Well, at least they didn't say chiptune music. Lots of shiny coins. And that's all there is for this one. A 2D pixel platformer where you play as a green pea. Because that's everybody's dream, right? Right? Well, it was the developers, apparently. Dude. Dude. Don't do this to me, dude. I just got finished talking about Crypto by Pogi. Do I really have to talk about Epic Word Search Collection 2? <laughs> Obvious segue. Well, at least the descriptions for these games are short. Kind of like my lifespan every time I talk about one of these. Epic word search puzzles are enormous. There are more than 1,500 words hidden in each massive, scrollable grid. This collection contains epic American word search, epic monster word search, epic rock word search, epic summer word search, and wouldn't you know it, this game is crossed by with the PlayStation 4 version. V version. Ver version version my speech is slurring that means this game's getting to me the game's developers generosity knows no bounds ugh. Ugh. can my heart possibly stand talking about two of these in one video starting to feel nauseous here people In a desperate attempt of cleansing the palate of what we just talked about, let's move on to Ultra Core! Something dare I say, awesome! Ultra Core is an authentic run and gun 16 bit game, a true love letter to classic 2D action games with intricate level design, tons of secrets to discover, and numerous mid and end bosses. Originally developed in the 90s by the legendary game studio Digital Illusions, back then it went by the working title of Hardcore and was sadly cancelled last minute. The game includes frantic blast processing gameplay. So much so that it rivals Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, not really. Five large stages with challenging boss fights. Collect new weapons and upgrade them. Modern twin stick controls. Optional new synthwave soundtrack. After 25 long years, the original game data barely being recovered from an old hard drive and passionately ported to run on modern hardware, we are proud to present to you with a true preservation effort of our common video game heritage. Not only is it an exquisite pixel art orgy of both mind and soul, I can't believe they used the word orgy, but an action-packed experience that takes classic run-and-gun 16-bit gaming to the next level and beyond, because this is Ultra Core. But, but you guys just felt the need to have to use the word orgy? I mean, you couldn't think of another word to use in place of that? Really? That was the only one that came to your mind? I feel uncomfortable. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, now moving on to a game that has absolutely nothing to do with that word. Oh my gosh, never mind. This video is so full of 
Interlude and Pokey Games. This is, and somebody told me in the comments section that the Y is silent, Umeye Tetsutsu Remaster and Reafter. Pretty sure I didn't say it right either way. Save your sister. Country girl Ao Toori joins the game company where her sister works. There her story of love, mystery, and game making begins. Yumiuri Tetsutsu Remaster and Reafter is a girl's love adventure game set in a small Japanese game studio. The story is set in the town of Kowanji or Kowanjai. I don't care. Not far from the imperial capital of Tokyo where a small game studio called Eureka Soft has set up shop. The heroine Ai, a country girl, joins her sister Kokoro who works there after receiving a mysterious email from Studio Head. Uh, this description is all full of innuendos. There she meets the quirky all-girl because of course, cast of characters and a dog because I guess that's important. The big sisterly head of the studio, her sister, giving her a cold shoulder, the maid, voice talent, the tiny, oh we're really going into some English now aren't we? Scenario, the uniformist artist of Ban Bananco, the dog and vice president. Uh, it almost sounds like the same, the dog's a vice president. You know what, I'm just gonna stop right there. It's a girl's love simulator visual novel, that's really all you need to know. They're hot for each other's bods. Moving on now from anime girls wanting each other to, um, cashiering. Yeah, it works for me. This is Nita Packet, and I kinda like this. We have a new description to talk about, and oh boy, am I ever interested to hear about what this has to say. Just because the concept alone is so weird. Try to survive. Standing at the checkout in the supermarket. Nita Packet is a horror simulator about supermarket cashier who is gradually losing her mind from routine work. She starts to feel that the cash register is turning into a medieval tower, while dungeons and chimeras, chim chimeras, something Thing, are flying around and trying to kill Molly, which I'm assuming is the main girl. The protagonist, as it were. Events take place on the battleground of a garbage crisis in the city. Grounds are rotting, recycling factories are overcrowded, water is poisoned, and citizens start to disappear in the local forest. I think it's safe to say that I have more questions now than before I read the description. Beep beep beep. That's what you'll hear in your head all day after playing Need a Packet. Go crazy! So, I guess in a nutshell, it sounds like the devs kind of want you to go insane. Why didn't they just just make this a pokey game then. Other game on the agenda for today is Big Dipper, a romance visual novel that takes place up in like the snowy mountains. I don't know, I haven't played it yet, but that's what it looks like to me. A miracle beyond the polar circle. They say it's hard to find a place to call your own, but what if such a place was not uniquely yours? What if both of you were not willing to give it up? Big Dipper is a kinetic visual novel which tells a romantic story of an unusual circumstance that brought the two lovers together one fateful New Year's Eve. Family troubles for Four star protagonist Andrew to leave his childhood home and step into an early adulthood, cast out into his own by a cruel twist of fate. He was led far north, where he was saved from the cold by an elderly furniture maker. Andrew studied his craft soon after he was finally able to afford his own house. Sometimes, however, what's yours is not yours alone. Enter Julia, but who is she? Cut in chibi art illustration, dynamic visual effects, and animated backgrounds. Readable in English, simplified Chinese, and Russian. 10 plus CGs, beautifully hand-drawn artwork, a wonderful story detailing love, faith, and life decisions. Eh, this game sounds great and all, but it didn't really have all that much material for me to use when it comes to humor. I hate it when games do that. I'm feeling kind of hungry now. Let's talk about Mushroom Heroes. I know, that was kind of weird. Oh look, it's that title that has the characters with the weird names. Mushroom Heroes is a retro platformer where the player can switch between three different characters. You have three Mushroom Heroes, and each Mushroom has special abilities, some of which the players need in order to pass certain obstacles. Jumpy can jump high and float in the air. Yuppie can kill enemies with his bow. The bow can also be used to detonate some walls and bombs. Dombi can block enemy projectiles with his shield, and he can push or pull some objects. I mean seriously. Seriously, name them something else, devs. Please. Mushroom Heroes brings back the look and feel of the very best classic platformers from the 90s, introducing refreshed and engaging gameplay mechanics. If you miss platformers from the 16-bit era and think games nowadays aren't that good anymore, think twice because Mushroom Heroes is for ye. I'm, uh, stuck without a punchline again.
Now some PlayStation Vita store news from Korea. You guys have a new game, and it's called Buried Stars. And I believe this is a Korean-only release so far. And I'm gonna be using Google Translate for this translation, so uh, you guys can pretty much expect it to be terrible from here on out. Buried Stars is a new mystery adventure game featuring Tim Largo and Line Games Corporation, which produced the masterpiece adventure Black Room series and Grey City series. The murder at the collapse scene, a deadly event takes place in front of the trap cast and staff. Who is the culprit? Why and how did he commit the crime? So I guess this looks like it's going to be a murder mystery of sorts, like a whodunit. Featuring 3D and 2D harmonized graphics, a variety of sound, veteran voice actors, a realistic theme song, and a variety of original scores, environmental sounds, and sound effects as well. Provided, of course, by acting veterans. That's pretty much all I can make out from this jumbled mess on Google Translate, so uh, I think you guys probably already know what to expect from this. It's a murder mystery, and it looks really good. And if you're in Korea, you can pick it up right now. Good golly, Miss Molly, that was a lot of Vita games that we covered in today's episode. Let me know which was your favorite and which you have been playing down in the comment section below, everyone. While I go up and fry some mushrooms because I literally am hungry. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Laurie Sweeney, Silica, Burzen Mystery, Redwan Alloy, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Ronan Elganto, Gutter Drums, Himdal Imbert, Wendy K, David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, E-Rock, Pierre Sterner, Adam Theory, Sculpture Tugel TCG, BMF, Ruben Gutierrez, Joshua Williams, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Richard Cruz, Buzz Sayin, Jelle, Mario Cruz, Larry Anderson, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Neo Arashi, Mark Baraldi and Milk Sama. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that's cool too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to do so down there. Well, we made it through a video that included two pogey-like games. I think we all deserve a medal at this point.